Hello queens, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some shoulder length kid friendly soft locks. Here I'll just be laying my foundation. I love to use the Murray's Edge Wax, the one with the yellow top. Not the black one so much because it's too thick for me, but she has really thick hair. That's why I'm using so much product because I love my parts to be sleek, y'all. So yes, I am using a good bit of product. Comb that through and you won't have any problems when taking it out. For this part, I like to sleep my part down because they're shorter locks and they do tend to be stiff sometimes. But I like to braid my base down at least three times. I open the loop and insert my lock in. Then I continue to braid all the way down to the end of my client's hair. Do not stop at the middle. So braid your client's hair all the way to the end. So when they're taking this out, they won't have any problems. Or when you're taking it out, you won't have any problems with cutting your client's hair anything like that so make sure you braid to the very end of their hair To wrap my client's locks, I'll be using the Cuban twist hair, my favorite hair. So you're going to split that one piece of Cuban twist hair into three to four pieces. This is going to give you a nice, sleek, seamless base. Not a big bulky base, but a nice, seamless base. So guys, before I start wrapping, I like to pull my Cuban twist hair all the way to the end where it get thin at, and then I start to wrap. So you're going to start wrapping the base, and then you're going to begin skip wrapping. So make sure you skip wrap so your locks can have a little texture to it. It gives it a unique style. So you're going to wrap that even with the other locks, and then you're going to flip that lock over. Then you're going to wrap back up until you get about... An inch or two away from the base and then you're going to cut the excess lock off so I'm going to show you guys here I'm wrapping back up and then I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut the excess piece off then you want to make sure you wrapping back over that piece that you cut until here's the end of that then you're going to take another small piece of the Cuban twist hair or a spring twist hair and just wrapping over that lock again. So that's going to give you a really tight, firm um, lock. And it won't unravel at all by you flipping it up. Yes, the locks tend to be a little stiff when you're first doing them. But they will loosen up. You do have the option to steam your client's lock with a hot towel or a steamer. I do steam my client's hair afterwards. So it gives them a little more flow to it. But the locks are stiff when you're doing it because you're wrapping it so much. But it's a beautiful style once it's completed. It's very important that you guys are measuring your client's locks side by side. It is kind of hard when dealing with kids to keep their you know back up and them sitting up straight but try your best to get your locks around the same length you don't want one side longer than the other side because there are short length uh, locks so you know try to measure them as much as possible try to encourage your client to stay sitting up straight 
so you won't have that problem and i do notice that i did have a little piece of hair sticking out at the end and i'm going to fix that towards the end once i actually notice it but make sure you guys are encouraging your clients to sit up straight when you're doing soft uh shoulder length soft locks because yes you will have a problem with one side being longer than the other side and it's not so much of a you know nice look to me so yes make sure your client is sitting up straight will be the final um, lock I'll be showing I will show you guys the final look towards the end remember to get your clients to sit up straight especially during the back part because you don't want one side you know shorter or longer than the other side it is kind of difficult doing kids hair but just encourage them to sit up straight you know occupy their mind watching TV or something so you can get that same length all around by the being shark locks um like comment subscribe and let me know what you guys think about the video and if it was helpful doing these locks and i'll see you guys soon Thank you.